Yo, what's up there guys? Dr. Phil Hunt. Today is episode 22 of NHL 14 Be a GM with the Ottawa Senators. So, what we did last episode is we summed up all the way from the Christmas break to the trade deadline. And I have to say, Ottawa is doing pretty awesome this year. Like, if you look at our stats, man, holy shit, 90 points leading the NHL. We're nine, yeah, we're nine points ahead of the second team, which is Florida. And I don't know how the hell they're second, but still, we're leading the NHL. Like, we're, like, we're really good this year. And so this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to do the trade deadline. And for the trade deadline, like I was saying, I'm... I've been thinking, I've been thinking a lot, and I'm thinking this year, maybe not trading anyone. Like, I was like, I was like, like, I know I was saying I wanted, like, all this, all the conspiracies about trading Anderson, trading Anderson. Like, I know I've said it tons of time, but he's actually doing good. He's actually doing good for us this year. Like, better than good. He's doing pretty, like, he's doing better than his others other years and he still have two year he still has two years left on his contract. So I can always trade him in the in the what is it the in the in the the, the drafts. So but like if I want to get someone I could probably trade him add some value to it. And look at he still he still has some value to him and just that contract is really uh is a really a uh, big deal. Like it's a lot of money. So I don't know I'm gonna like, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep like if you look at the goalies, there's no one extraordinary. There's no one that's eye popping. Like there's no goalies out there that are like that are four star and a half yellow, four star green. I know there's this uh, Sarabriakov guy, but he's not. He's not even. He's, he didn't jump up or anything. So I'm gonna wait till I get a four star and a half goalie. Like all these goalies, they're not. They don't. They're not that good. So I'm gonna wait till I can actually get a goalie that's good. Maybe the Zachary, the Zach, uh, maybe Zachary Fucal, but still, like even he's not ready yet. So, whatever. Like I know I said I wanted to trade Anderson, but it's just he's doing good for us this year, and I want to keep like I want to keep our team together so we can actually win the Stanley Cup this year. Like come on, man, look at first in the NHL, 90 points. Like we're like we're strong this year. So for the trade deadline, we're gonna do it is we're gonna just we're we're gonna go into it, but we're just gonna we're gonna see what some other teams want. So let's just we have Florida. Did we get a Florida pick last year? Yeah, we did get a Florida pick. Yeah, we did get a Florida pick. So I think yeah, I think we did get a Florida pick. That's the trade players. What is it, Florida? No, I can just go check ours. Ah, uh, really? That one year that Florida's good, and they they that one year that Florida's good, and we have their pick. Like that's just, that's bad, man. That one year they're good, and we have their pick. Whatever, whatever. Stuff happens. So let's go into this trade deadline, and we're playing against Florida. So let's see who is the better team. Yes, I want to trade negotiations. Uh, nope. Uh, still, I can still maybe gamble some stuff away. Ooh, they want to give away a Ramry. No, still. Uh, Jonas Hiller, no, I don't need him. Still, no. Just really looking at some stuff. Just, ooh, Ian White. Nah, he's uh, yeah, he's way too old. I'm not saying way too old, but I'm just saying he's uh, he's getting up there. Like I'm just looking, Marion Hosa not worth it. Uh, I'm just looking for some studs that uh, people want to give away. Uh, nope. Like good. Ooh, wow, really? Wow. Look at there, Detroit Red Wings want to give away Henrik Zetterberg. Oof, that's a good player to get right there, but. Look at his potential, three stars and a half, and then look at his like look at his age. Like you have what like two more years with Zetterberg. Uh, same thing with Cornwall. Uh, Cronwall. Yeah, 
It's good, but just not anymore. Edmonton. Ooh. There we go. Uh, Roland McKeown. McKeown. Whatever. I can't say his name. Uh, Roland McKeown. Uh, don't need an offensive defenseman. Still good with Carlson. Uh, Darnell Nurse would be good to get, but whatever. Uh, nope. Dan Healy. No, not worth it. Uh, this is Bazan guy. Nope. Nope. No. 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 Nah, there's no one worth it, man. No one worth it. Ooh, Derek Pouillot. Ooh, that's a... Ooh. That's a potential player that we could get, and he's not really, like... His trade value is not that high. Uh, what about... Pouliot for but really his contract why does he have a one-way contract like really no 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 I'm not I'm not chasing on his one-way contract when he's not even ready to play in NHL Joe Thornton Patrick Marlowe whoa there but yeah they're getting their tool look at their potential not that good David back is that would be a good player to get just Third Valley's too high. Ryan Malone, no. I'm, like, I'm looking for some studs. What was it Frederick Goche, I'm guessing? Yeah, Frederick Goche. Oof. Nice. Uh, would be a good guy to get, but... Center. Four green stars. Yeah, maybe I could get him. What does Toronto want? Huberto, no, 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 no. Yeah, no. What about Vancouver? Vancouver, Sydney Twins, no. Washington, yeah, no one. And Winnipeg. Ooh, they're giving away their, some of their studs, man. Really? Wow, they're really giving away some of their potential studs of the future. But Ottawa's fine. Ottawa doesn't need anything right now. Yeah, Ottawa doesn't need anything. We're good with our team this year. Going to keep it the same. And then going on forward, we can probably win the Stanley Cup. So let's just see. Oh, Yuri Hitler uh, went to Boston for a first rounder. Ooh, Joe Franzen on Johansson for uh, Johan Franzen went to Winnipeg for a first round. There we go. Ooh, people don't mind the first round. So uh, no one. Ooh, uh, Mark Giord Giordano uh, went to Cal went to LA. And ooh, looks like people don't people. Uh, I want to go, yeah, player pick and trade. And uh, picks and trading. So it looks like people aren't afraid of giving, giving the first round. So, no, we'll just go through this pretty quick. Uh, yeah, no one. Yeah, yeah no one. That, ooh, Ian White. Uh, Calgary finally traded Ian White for another first round. Two first rounds. Wow, Carolina gave a little bit too much away, but. But whatever. That's Carolina's problem, not ours. Uh, no, so no one that good. Uh, nope. Looks like no one wants to trade with us this year. No, okay. And, nope. No one wants us, man. No one wants us. That's good. So we can keep our team. We can win the Stanley Cup. And we are done. There we go. Okay, let's go check the uh, waivers. So let me take a sip of water. Okay. Uh, Daniel Widnick. No, it's not worth it. No. So I'm just going to go no. Uh, Tim Brandt. Nope. Uh, Ryan Spooner. Maybe. Uh, 73 overall. 24 years old. Two and a half stars. Uh, nothing, nothing pops out to me except that discipline. But uh, discipline's not. Like, I'm not saying it's like. I'm not saying it's not important, but I'm just saying it's not, like, the biggest thing that we need and not on our team. So, no. Uh, Anton Strawman, Nope. Uh, Brett Gallant. Brett Gallant. Uh, nope. Uh, physical category is pretty good, but other than that, same thing with the defense category. It's pretty good, but nope. And uh, that's it for the waivers. So let's just sim up all the way. Yeah, let's just sim up all the way to the end of the season. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, we clinched the playoffs, but even though it doesn't say, but still, 
I'm pretty sure we clinched it all right. So sum up to the end of the season, do a season wrap up, and then we'll season wrap up. Look at some individual stats and everything. So it looks like we won against the second best team in the NHL. And like I said, the only year that Florida's good, like the only year that they're good, and we have the first round of like this upcoming draft. And I don't know what the hell. I think Callahan is actually doing stuff for them, but. Callahan on our team wouldn't have done anything good. So, I don't mind trading away Callahan. Like, he was there for depth. And if we could win, like, he was there just for a Stanley Cup. And same thing about the conspiracy with Anderson. Ooh, pretty big win streak with Ottawa. Uh, same thing with, like I said, about Anderson's conspiracy. Probably will be traded in the draft. Like, it's just, it's a mock trade right now. Ooh, there, another win. Ooh, 50 wins, man. Ooh, nice, Ottawa. Presence Trophy, here comes... Oh, wow, really? Ah, I want to win that Presence Trophy this year. But yeah, so Anderson, he has two years left, so... Like, people are going to want him, but it's just that big, like, salary that might take, like, people away from wanting Anderson. But if I can trade trade him in the drafts, I can probably, probably get something good. Like, we can... I get a goalie that's gone, but still... We still have Leonard that's ready. Okay, one more loss and he's out. First of the worst team in the NHL. Please win, please win. No. Bye bye, Anderson. Yeah, so like I said, Anderson, if we trade him away, that'd be good because it's a big, big contract off our, uh, off our backs. So like like I said, it'd be good. If there was if there like if the goalies are good this year in the drafts, uh, like oh I'm gonna check that right. Oh no, Leonard was in. Oh, never mind. If the goalies are good this year in the draft, like we could probably snag a goalie, trade Anderson, and start Leonard up. Maybe we can sign a, f um, a backup goalie in the free in the free agency. But still, that's what like that's a conspiracy trade. So let's sim up to the end of the season. I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna look at our stats. I'm pretty sure man, 51 wins, and there's like what two weeks left in the NHL. That's pretty good for Ottawa. It's you and I think I think this is our best year. Yeah, this is our best year. But like like look at Spezza, thirty one goals, Huberto, man, that's awesome. Huberto's Huberto's great, man. That's our like player of the future right there. That's our future captain. Same thing with Kucherov, man. Even though he's not he's not there on the on the board, but he's still he's still producing stuff, which is good. So let's go, Ottawa. Let's finish the season with 60, more than 60 wins. Come on, Ottawa. Come on, Ottawa. Wait, no, no, no. We can't do it. I think this is our last, before last week, if I'm not mistaken. Come on, Ottawa. Ottawa. Finish it with, uh, ooh, ooh, uh, no, Ottawa. Come on. Come on, Ottawa. Come on. Ah, don't do this to us. Why are you doing this to us right now? Really, Ottawa. Anderson, you're... Oh, ooh. Anderson. It was a little bit risky there, but he he heard me, and he win. He won the game. So, that's good for him. So, Ottawa, 56-21-4, and four, going into our last game. I think we have a pretty good shot this year in the playoffs. But, man, that's a great record. I think it's their best year. So, GM Tracker. Uh... I can upgrade my staff. I will go medical staff. If you get in the playoffs, assistant coach doesn't really matter. But I want the yeah. from purchase. I think it's our best. Yeah, it's our best year. Uh, all right, statistic. Yeah, it's our best year. Holy shit, man! We've upgraded so much. Looks like the auto center has really thanked me for hiring me as their general manager because I'm I did a tremendous job with them this year my god and let's go look at some of the individual stats uh, was it uh, there we go Oof. there comes Preds' trophy to auto 116 points baby nice here we go President's trophy comes to Ottawa nice so we get the Western Conference. Ooh, Phoenix is strong. Yeah, yeah, okay. Nashville's pretty strong. Uh, Eastern Conference. Ooh, to do. 
Man, look at that Atlantic Division. Holy shit, that Atlantic Division strong this year. Like, I like it that in this game is the opposite of what's happening in real life right now. Like, right now in real life, the Western Conference is really strong. But in this game, the Eastern Conference is stronger. Like, I just like it. Or especially the Atlantic Division. Holy shit, that's a strong division right now in this game. Okay, so now we got goals. Alexander Ovechkin with 40 goals. Is anyone there? Ooh, Jason Spess is there. Uh, says, oh, Huberto's there. Nice. Ooh, we got Spezza also. That means Spezza is there in points. Ooh, Huberto and Spezza are tied for points, but Logan could sure. Oh, uh, he's got... He's got more points. He's got... Yeah, he's got like eight more points. He's got eight more points than Huberto and Spezza. So, but whatever. Spezza and Yats, two... Two guys are in the top eight for points that are on the team. What about wins? Uh, Anderson should be the Anderson's there. Uh, save percentage. Anderson's eighth and goals against. Anderson is sixth. That's good. That's good. What about HL team? HL team. Uh, 39 wins. I'm pretty sure we should be making the playoffs. And yeah, we're there in fifth. That's good. What about are we there for stats? I'm looking pretty quick. Cody CC, no. Uh, Backman's there with 38 wins. Uh, no, we're not there for points, if I'm not mistaken. No, we're not there. Uh, safe percentage. Are we there? No, we are not there. No, we're not there. So let's go look at some of their individual stats. But man, tremendous year by Ottawa. Tremendous year, man. We're going to go into playoffs really strong. So, stats central. Like, I'm probably, like... You're probably asking, like, why the hell do I do this before the last game of the season? Well, I'm doing this because, like, I'm doing this because I don't, like, sometimes after the last game of the season, it already goes to the playoffs, and I just want to check some stuff out before. So that's why I'm doing this stuff. Like, that's why I'm doing this stuff before the last game. Like, I want to check all the stats. I want to see, like, standings and everything. So let's just go look. So 56 wins. We're like, wow, we're seven away from the second place. So, that's pretty good. Uh, let's go check. Goals four per game, 30 NHL, close to three, so that's pretty good. Like, I like it, so that's good. Goals against, second in the NHL, that's good. Uh, power play, 22nd, that's something we have to work on. We'll go look at that before the, um, before the playoff starts. Uh, what about penalty kill, 14th, not that bad. Uh, yeah, that's good, okay. So it's just that power play is a little bit off, but we can still... It doesn't really matter because we're, we're winning. We're still winning games, but it might affect us in the playoffs. So we're just going to have to go look at it, see what we can do before the playoffs actually start. So individual stats, here we go. Uh, uh, Jason Spets, a tremendous hit. Same thing with Huberto. Greatest great year for Spezza and Huberto. Is this his best year? No, it's not. But it could be. He could be tying for his best year. Huberto, same thing. 99 points. I still can't believe it. Could be. That's good. That's still good for Huberto. He still has time to boost up. He's glad he came to Ottawa. He's glad that. Huberto is glad that he came to Ottawa because he's actually doing stuff. Like, if he would have stayed with Florida, he wouldn't have went nowhere. Uh, Kucherov, tremendous, man. Tremendous. So glad we got this guy. Uh, Philadelph, still, same thing. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, Silverberg, that's pretty good. Hedman, the defense, so I don't really, it doesn't really, I don't really care. Uh, Turris, that's pretty good. I think it's third line, if I'm not mistaken. Conacher, could be a little bit more better for being on that second line. Uh, Eric Carlson, that's still, that's still good. Uh, Chris Summers, okay, Zach Smith. Mm, Zach Smith, I don't really I don't really mind about about Zach Smith cuz cuz he's a grinder and he like you use him for his body and his defensive awareness like so like whatever. 22 points is still good for him being on that fourth line if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Sabanajad still good, Cowan good, Delroth okay, Kennedy. Kennedy could have done a little bit better. Same thing with Greening. Condra fourth line but still Kennedy and Greening could have done a little bit better. Yeah, Kennedy. Oh, I don't know what the hell I did there. But yeah, he could have done a little bit more better. But I don't. 
I don't matter because they're. I don't really care, but so they could have done a little bit more better. But that first line is just strong for us, so that's why they're not getting as much points as they would get. So Anderson, two point two point thirty six goals against average, uh, nine ninety two point uh, point fourteen save percentage and he has five shutouts and he has one assist and one point so that's good for Anderson now let's go check our AHL stats uh, doo -doo -doo, loading stats any minute now any minute now EA Sports any minute now Ooh, Louis Caparuso I don't know where he came from but he is doing pretty good this year Cody CC, great man. He's going to be ready for our NHL team next year. Uh, Andre Peterson, that's good. Shane Prince, good. Just all these guys are doing good season for them. Uh, Stefan Nielsen, I don't really I don't really see a big wow in him, but whatever. But whatever, it could be a possible trade asset in the future. Uh, what is it? Uh... I don't see Ekblad. Where the hell? Where the hell is Ekblad? Uh, uh, up, No, I'm gonna go coach option. Pretty sure Ekblad's like he's that age that he can play in the HL. Uh, where's Ekblad? No, Ekblad's not there. Uh, I don't know. Where is Ekblad anyways? Uh, like, let's go check his contract. GM option. Uh, contracts. Ooh, Aaron Ekblad is still playing in the... Ah, uh, kid, he's still playing the CHL, so... Whatever, I thought of, I thought of something else, but still. Okay, so he's still playing in the CH, CHL. He should be... He should be close to uh, NHL already in about, like, one or two years. Maybe not next year, but the year after, he should be ready. So that means we're going to have two young defensemen. But Cody CC next year, he's going to be ready. So that's good. That means I can move the defense around. So what else I want to see? Uh, we did this. We did the HL. just want to check our goalies. Loading stats. And then we can do look at the progress report. Uh, look at what's going in their playoffs. And then... Just do a whole wrap up. So let's just go goalies. Goalies, uh, Richard Backman. What a guy, man. What a guy. Great year for him. Great year. Great year for Richard Backman. Okay, so let's just go look at the progress report. Even though I'm, st I said like I, it's still bullshit the progress report because I don't know why the hell. Like, look, it's none of them have upgraded. Like Colin Greening, like whatever. Hubert, that's good. Spezza, that's good. But other than that, hope Eric Carlson. Yeah, there we go. Eric Carlson went up. Zach Smith, no, he went down. I don't know why, but I still find it bullshit. HL, Zach Hall went up. Uh, what about Cody CC? Looks like he didn't go up, even though he's having a tremendous season. But whatever. I still find this. I find it bullshit because sometimes. They'll go down and they'll just stay down for the whole, the whole season. Even though they're having a tremendous season, they'll just stay down. The whole thing. They got to fix that in NHL 15. Fix the progress report. And now let's go check our lines. Okay, now, so for the playoffs, um, for our lines, I know I'm, I'm not going to do like the whole lines right now. But I'm just thinking I'll stay the lines like this. Before power play, we could be switching off, uh, switching our second or maybe even our first, but I like our first already. So let's just, yeah, maybe our second switch, maybe Filatov or maybe Silverberg. That's what I'm thinking. And same thing with the penalty kill. Uh, Zach Smith is in special. That's good. Hubert don't hurt. So I could probably switch Turris for someone else. So, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Just, just some, just some like, I'm just brainstorming what I'm doing right now. So whatever, but. Uh, for the for the playoffs, you guys can recommend me some lines. For my offense defensive line, I'm leaving it like this right now. For a power play, you guys can recommend me stuff. Same thing for a penalty kill. 
recommend me some lines that I can use in the going into the playoffs. So let's just do our last game of the season. Last game of the season, and then we'll see who we play in our first game of the playoffs. So finished it off, Ottawa. Finish it off for the fans. For the fans, can we finish it off with a win? And no, we didn't. That sucks. That sucks. Whatever. We can still go strong in the playoffs. So I want to check goalies. No, no, no. Oh, 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 oh. OHL, man, they have tremendous goalies in the OHL. Yeah, so I'm going to go OHL. Scout it one more time. Just make it for sure. Okay, now let's see who we play in the playoffs. Come on, Ottawa, let's go, let's go. Sim, Sim. Nope, still not done. Still not done. This is what a time to bend the season. That's This is a time where a season wrap-up would be good, but whatever. Doesn't matter. I still did the season wrap-up before our last game. There we go. We're playing versus the worst team in the NHL, the Montreal Canadiens. That's what happened last year. We played against Toronto in the first round, and now we're playing against the worst team in the NHL. There we go. We're on the street as Price will start for the Canadian Senators. We'll have Anderson back stopping for them in goalies. For them. Hashtag goalies. Nice. Oof. That's going to be a one hell of a round. That's going to be one hell of a round. Ottawa versus Munchy Crappy L. I know that was terrible, but still. I despise Montreal. I despise Toronto. Don't ask me why, but I just despise them. Okay, so Joe guys, Aaron, please subscribe and like I said, uh, give me some recommendations for the power play and the penalty kill. And so, see you next time. So, bye bye and Montreal, we are gonna kill you guys.